let's get back to the Forever Family story. So imagine I'm in Tanzania, I'm wearing the Forever Family Tanzanian t-shirt. I all recruited couple man when I was out there. Yay, Forever Family Tanzania, we're branching out. That was what I made my role from being there. Um, this video goes viral. I've got no problem with uh, Brother Respect up until this point. He's even calling me in Tanzania. What's going on, sis? Blah, blah, blah. Mm. As it should be, right? He was having a live at the time. I jumped on the live to say, and he was talking about that little boy that I didn't even know who he was at the time, but I know now. Steph London's brother. Dutch. Raspet. Big up Dutch. Right. Mm -hmm. So Raspet was Big online. Mm -hmm. Right. Raspet was online okay. at the I'm time. This is the day after I put out the Vincent rap video, yeah? It's the day after I put it out. Raspet's online talking about Duchy, the Duchy of anything. And there was like some controversy, wasn't there, around yeah, him and yeah. what, 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 what. So he's on a similar subject, right? I jump on, what's going What's going on, bro? Yeah, you're right, sis, blah, blah, blah. Yo, bro, I've just put out this video and it's going a bit mad and da, 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 da. And this is what it is, this guy called Vincent Rapp. Raspet's face changes. He then gets a phone call. He then goes off camera, takes the phone call, comes back on. And you know when you can see somebody just wants you to get off? And I'm thinking, uh, he knows the game. Why go on your side? He knows the game. I don't man. understand what's happening. Do you know mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is Raspet. This is my brother. This is my, this is my comrade. Anyway, he I think the following week there was a the meeting. Game, following week there was an online meeting. We used to meet every week online, right? So I'm joining from Tanzania to the meetings and whatever. Somebody brought it up. This is the first I realised it was a problem. Somebody brought it up and was like, oh, but we're doing patrols in Brixton and. Uh, you know, this could be a problem for us. And, and I'm going, but hold on a minute. Are we not forever family force? Do we not defend these things? Do you know what I mean? Fast forward now. Um, there's a whole load of controversy over whether or not forever family supporting his time is up. And forever family haven't supported his time is up. The only person who stepped forward was Mega Man. Now, Mega Man and them are having a standoff. Why aren't you supporting the sister? Became a problem. Hmm. But it was like Raspect doing what he did with Sasha to the rest of the group. So what Afu is doing now is a problem. Do you understand what I'm saying? Afu was on this, Afu was on that. What are you talking about? And how comes you can, in, in good faith, jump on your scooter saying that you're running down paedophiles, but you're not supporting what we're doing? How does that work? And I'm in the same organisation as you. How does that work? It doesn't make sense to me, Right. But it's, it is what it is. That's all. Fast forward now, I decide I'm going to put a, a march on the streets of Brixton to show Vincent Rat that you ain't no boss man around here no more. The women are taking control. So I, I called Yo, games. I called the march. Games. Everyone was saying, well, you can't come back in the country. How are you going to be calling a march and putting these women out there and you're going to be putting them at risk and blah, blah, blah. So the plan was that I would join the march by a big satellite screen mm -hmm. and talk to the people then. Unbeknown to the people, I'd slipped back into the country and was hiding out in the Kent Hills. Mm -hmm. So on the day of the march, Vincent Rat turns up in Windrush Square. There's about yeah. 500 women there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who did he come with? There's a, on his own. No, he came with a couple of people, actually. I don't know who they were. <laughs> but, right? But, um, okay, man. Yeah, but he, that's of, brave, though, isn't it? Just him. <laughs> there's a puff of red smoke. Well, mm -hmm. it's his grounds. It's Brixton. It's the mm -hmm. heart of Brixton. He thinks he owns the place. He's turned up. To try and intimidate people. There's a puff of red smoke in the middle of the proceedings, and out comes me with 10 white South African militia security. Because my thing was this if you're going to try and lick me down, knowing the mentality of my people, you're quick to kill your own, but you're going to think twice when it's white man. Yeah. <laughs> so I brought 10 of them around me, and they were all proper tonk top army trained set among them. Where you get them from? Don't worry about that. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, the, the, God, the voice notes on the back of that. Oh my God, Afua came in strong. Oh my God, you couldn't get near her. And I informed the police. So we had police. We had the 10 security, white security man them. Mm. Nothing Vincent Rack could do. And we ran him out of Windrush Square. We had another march the following year. And we saw another guy off as well. We didn't have one this year because I took a break. And it was like, I ain't doing it this year. I'm going to do it next year. So, and so all of that is going on. Everyone knows that I, I've got death threats against me, but I've had to reach out to 10 white militia when I got a whole army, supposedly, that I belong to. Tell me how that works. So did um, Raspet not turn up to that? He actively told people in Forever Family not to support the march. And it created a big fuss. Mega Man took them to task. 
There was a few of them that came out, not in uniform, mm -hmm. as, you know, to show solidarity. And I still mm. love them to this day. Mm -hmm. Most of them were sisters, to be fair. There's mm. Couple Man and Mega. And Mega put himself at the front of it. Mm. Do you understand me? Big up Mega. Big up Mega. Um, Mega was the one fighting with them in meetings. I weren't even in their meetings, mm. telling them that this is wrong. Uh, Raspect and I were called in by the mediator to try and, like, Mend this rift. Mm -hmm. Remember, I didn't create no rift, you know. I just went on the man's live and said, bro. And next minute, I'm getting weird vibes. Next minute, I'm getting cut off. Next minute, I'm, okay, what's going on? You know, it's okay. Mad no, shit. as far as I'm concerned, you're shook because of who it is. Not, not what the subject is. Do you think someone paged him? Somebody paged him that day on the live. That's what I believe. Mm. And then for me now... If you're going to authentically stand there and say that you stand for the aunties and you stand for the black women and what, you wouldn't care who's paid you if you were what you say you are. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm games. Mm. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, I'm no, saying but, it straight. Okay, yeah, because the sisters in that organisation had more heart than the man them. Mm. You see what I'm saying? And right now we're living, we're living, he ain't in Forever Family, is he? Oh, no, I, don't, I don't think he is. Slander. But um, yeah. <laughs> but the point is I'm making, why should we have to have more heart? These are the man them. These are the man them that have put on big uniforms and saying that they're out there to protect the aunties, but you can't protect their own aunties inside your organisation. What kind of foolish thing is this? This is the rift. So I bit down on that for two years, said nothing. I had to have people in my DMs every minute. Why ain't Raspect supporting your thing? What's going on there? What's going on there? I'm saying nothing. Because mm -hmm. I love Mega Man. I don't want to like come against the brother like that publicly, but you've dissed the program in a big, big way behind the scenes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Then every so often I'm getting sent videos where this man is bad mouthing the movement. And I'm thinking, really? You can't be doing that. Leave me to do what I'm doing then. You do what you're doing. But we're still in the same organisation because I haven't left Forever Family at this point. Mm -hmm. His time is up. He's raging. But I'm still in Forever Family. At the beginning, I was even still doing meetings. Knowing that they're not there to protect us. i got to be reaching out to white people to get my protection when I've got supposedly a whole army behind me. So anyway, I'd had enough of that after two years of it. We'd had two attempts internally to mend whatever, what is it? Because the, the question wasn't coming from me. The question was coming from our leadership saying, what are going for Brother Raspet? Why is he dealing with Sister Afua like this? And people were seeing it. What could I do? Yeah. I came to the table. I was like, I want to sort it out. I want to know why he's dealing with me like this. We've come to the table, two meetings over a period of time. On both occasions, when we started to talk about it, my man blew up. Like, you know, when someone don't want to go there, doesn't want to talk about the situation, blew up in the, in the mediation meetings. One of the times I had to put it back on him because I've had enough of the way you think you can talk to people. And my oldest child mm. is older than you. Yeah, so I got proper auntie on him that day. Proper. You understand mm. me? That was never going to get repaired after that. Mm -hmm. So I left it and we're just doing our thing. Everyone's trying to avoid each other. He's mm -hmm. doing his thing. Mm -hmm. But he keeps throwing word. You know, when so, in Jamaica, when so somebody had chore word, mm -hmm. keeps throwing word, keeps throwing word, keeps throwing word. I would have never word. known that, you know. Um, I'm thinking, why do you keep throwing yeah, word? Just yeah. allow me. Do you yeah. know what I mean? In the end, I've actually called Meg and I've said, Megs, I've had enough. I'm going public. I'm going on my platform. I'm going to tell the truth as to why I left Forever Family. Mm -hmm. Meg said to me, why? Just don't mash up man's brand. Do you know what I'm saying? I said, all right. I went on. I said my piece. Now, if anyone knows Respect, you know, if you come against him, he's, he's, he's doing a clapback video the next day. Same hour. Straight, same hour, <laughs> yes. right? Same hour. You're thinking he's waiting to the next okay. day. Okay. Mm. Very interesting that it took him nearly, I think, four days to answer me back after the live. And when he did a semblance of lies, I could not believe it. I had him off as a lot of things but not a liar. And for that reason, I went onto my live the following week with all my receipts Why? showing how much he's lying. All my receipts, because he ain't got none receipts. Most of the people who say things about me ain't got a single receipt. Mm -hmm. Lied on me. I've shown my receipts, but yet to this day, we still get little trolls talking shit in, 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 my, in my DMs. Even though I've shown the proof that this man is lying on me. He will never come and face me face to face because he knows I will crush him. You understand? Mm -hmm. With the truth. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. And so 
I don't bear no ill will to him. I was saying on my live, I just want little brother to be honest. Do you understand what mm. I'm saying? Be honest and be honest as well that there is no forever family. It's you and a couple of your brethren. All that army that you saw on the 20th, uh, on the 1st of August, 2020, they've all left. <laughs>